last year, um, the whole issue of leadership in difficult times. Some of those topics, I hope those of you who listened to the calls we ran in the last quarter of last year, David Mason and I tried to pick up in some of the managed calls that we did. We talked about choosing your attitude, trying to take control, not being a rabbit in the headlights, uh, not being a cork tossed on the waters, the choppy waters, but real take, taking ownership for your own future. And during some of those calls, uh, I did on a few occasions refer to a gentleman called Eddie Obeng, and I uh, pinched some of his uh, very good ideas that I'm sure uh, he will be using some of them again today, but also a whole host more. A lot of you knew Eddie Obeng, but some of you didn't, and I know there were a few questions, who is this guy that everybody keeps referring to? So it's no coincidence that we've asked Eddie to come today to try and give you and everybody watching on the webcam first-hand exposure to his thoughts and his, his ideas on this whole issue of managing in uncertain times, leading yourself and your teams through these periods of uncertainty. <coughs> and both organisationally and personally, we are now in the middle of all of this, either through wave two, wave three, wave three plus, wave four, wave N, whatever it is called in whichever division you're operating in. There is no doubt that you, your teams and your colleagues and your friends are absolutely in the middle of this maelstrom of change. So today, hopefully, really is relevant to you, and hopefully you will get something from today that you can use, but also that you can use with your teams and with your colleagues. Today, we're not going to be talking about the what and the how. It's going to be the what and the who. And the who is Eddie Obeng. Um, I'm really pleased that we've been able to secure Eddie for the whole of today. Um, he's been working with HBOS U since early 2007 when he led a, an HR masterclass, um, which for me was probably the, the strongest um, day of intervention I've had in the 19 years I've been with Halifax and HBOS, which is why I've been plagiarizing everything Eddie said on that day ever since. Um, and when I uh, saw that we were running this event, I phoned Marion Neal up and said, would it be possible for me to uh, sit at the back and um, you know, get a free, free uh, ticket? And in true HBOS U tradition, Marion said, well, if you're coming, you can speak. So uh, there's no such thing as a free seminar in HBOS U. And Marion said, well, I want you to do the introduction about Eddie, and I want you to position him as a guru in the whole change environment. And I said, under no circumstances, would I be prepared to do that? Because Eddie isn't a bandwagon, bandwagon jumping, self-publicizing charlatan, which is my definition of a guru. Um, and for those of you who've read people like Tom Peters, you'll know precisely what I mean. But I do believe that Eddie is a thought leader. I think he, I know he is an ideas generator. I know he is an action prompter, both from personal experience and from talking to literally dozens and dozens of people who've attended events that Eddie has led. He's made a really big influence on, on me, and I know he's made a really big influence on the HBOS program team and the way we try to deliver, not change, but improvement in HBOS. Anybody can change, not everybody can improve. And whether that's one of Eddie's nuggets today, we'll find out. What I would like each of you to try and commit to today, though, as well as listening and hearing what Eddie's got to say, is take at least one idea away today. And for the next three weeks, really, really, really try to implement it and use it. If at the end of that three weeks, you find that it hasn't helped and it hasn't added value, fine, chuck it away. But don't walk away from today without one idea that you are actively going to use as soon as you leave this room and as soon as you get back into your workplace. One final piece of advice, as I said earlier, do not let your attention wander. Do not go off into planning next week's diary mode. Certainly don't get into playing with your Blackberry or whatever else it is you want to play with under the table. Um, you will need your wits about you as today progresses. You always hear people say this is going to be an interactive event. Trust me, it is. Um, so without any further ado, I'd like to welcome Eddie Obeng.